All right, welcome back to the channel. Half fast, 719. Anyway, gotta turn on the light so I can see, so people can see, I guess. Anyway, uh, the kid came home, I don't know, about an hour ago, and he helped me throw the head on. So the head is on. Sorry you guys didn't get to see that. And we're out here blabbing. So he helped me torque the head down. In steps of... That's lower. So he got steps of... 40... 1 through 26, 40 foot pounds. 1 through 26, 80 foot pounds. 1 through 26, 125 foot pounds. So what I ended up doing is, so I didn't have to keep looking at the paper. Just number to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, blah, 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 blah. 21, 25, 26. So the head is installed. It's all torqued down. It wore me out pretty good. So, um, next, I don't know what I'm going to do next. So, I know I got to do push rods. Put the push rods in, um, and, uh, yeah, I don't really know. I'm kind of wondering if I should try to list it the way it is for sale, um, before... It gets too too in depth, or if I should just paint it and finish it and then sell it, because obviously I still I need to buy a rear main seal. Um. Mm, yeah, buy got to buy a rear main seal for this for the Chingus. The oil pan is not attached. Um, but as you can see. It's got brand new valve seals, valve stem seals in there, focus, so all those green things are brand new valve, valve stem seals, and then all the valves have been uh, ground, ground, whatever, lapped with lapping compound and whatever from the, from the machine shop. So, uh, yeah, so one thing I wanted to do in this video, probably, is marked, marked out where I need to cut, which is right there. So you got to cut that back. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill me a hole right along that edge right there. And, uh... Yeah, and then go from there. Or actually, I might have a ringer somewhere. Um, I don't know where it's at. But I'll find something, and then uh, I'll videotape it. So I will be right back. Alright. So this is what I'll use. This thing. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna just step fit it.
we'll see uh, what this thing does. Slow grinding stone. Be able to get in there a little better. So, just applying a little bit of pressure. That's plenty enough right there. So I'll show you guys real quick why you got to do it. I don't know if I did already, but you have to clear it for that one, number 24. So I still got to go a little bit more right on that edge. So, I'll just continue that uh, 
Um, obviously, I don't need to put this on right now. I'm still going to install the valve train and all that junk. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to ring it out a little bit more. Actually, I think I have my... Yeah, I'm going to use this. Just a little Dremel with a carbide bit. If you can see it, if it'll focus, that'll uh, take care of it real quick. So, let me do that real quick and I'll be right back. Alright guys, <clears throat> this is it. That's all I did. Darken it up a little bit. So, that's pretty much it. So, I'll throw a new gasket on when I'm ready to put it all together. So, anyway, it fits like that. So, you just gotta cut that out real quick. No big deal. So, but yeah, that was a it was a real fun uh, thing to do to torque all those while you're already pooped and drained. So uh, kind of thinking next, uh, putting this uh, grid heater on here. So putting this on. Don't know yet if I'm gonna delete it because I think. The way to delete it is you take that torx out, you take that torx out, that torx out, and you take this bolt off, and this whole thing comes out. And then uh, you probably just put this nut back on to hold that so it looks factory. Then you'll have a grid heater delete. Pretty sure that's how that works. And then, uh, yeah, and then I got to paint it all. So, uh, if you guys know anybody interested in buying this motor, don't know, I don't know what it's rated for with doing the ARP, ARP rod bolts, ARP mains, and the ARP head studs. I know the ARP head studs alone, people say that they're getting, they can push. I want to say 650, 750 horsepower. So with the bottom in the way it is, I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me what you guys think. I don't know if it's potential of a thousand horsepower or not. You guys tell me. Um, so the only thing I think that you would have to do would be injectors, probably cam. Uh, valve springs uh, and then uh, I don't know I don't know what else so but anyway I'm we're out I'm gonna go take a shower uh, I'll probably install actually next will probably be the oil pump installing the oil pump and then uh, putting the CP3 gear that's right over there putting that in there and maybe even bolting up the CP3 pump. But I don't think I'll, I'm not going to bolt up the CP3 pump just yet. Because I want to paint it. So I will be painting it the way it is. I think right now. Yeah. Maybe with the grid heater. The grid heater. The runner here. Maybe I'll put that on and then paint it. It's still up in the air right now. Um, but yeah, you guys tell me what you think. Uh, but by that time, it'll probably already be too late because it probably will already be done before this video airs because I'm about 10 videos out that are scheduled already. So, anyway, all right, guys, that's gonna be it. Got a mess to clean up. Um, got a mess to clean up on me. So, thanks for watching, guys. Give me a like if you like it. Comment below, 
subscribe over here is over here or up here um, watch the previous video over here you can go down to the playlist of the 6-7 Cummins build and check out my boy One England somewhere down in this corner alright guys thanks for watching later